Hi, this is Anub here and in this video we are going to see how to access WBD VMs and remote apps and rem basically remote desktops and remote apps from WBD, right? How we can access it. There are two ways, right? One is one option is to go into this portal that is rdweb dot wvd dot microsoft dot com go to this portal and access your resources from there right the other option is to install remote desktop application you can download it from microsoft website i i will provide the link in the description of this video you can right click and install it right so that is the second option Let's go through the installation process first. Okay, that was an interesting option. Okay, that's done. Now let's launch the remote desktop setup wizard. It's taking time. I don't know why. Okay, let's subscribe. let's put in my username and password okay i have entered my username and password to subscribe to this and um, that those usernames are basically the azure ad usernames those should be synced with azure ad basically so if you are using on-prem ad that should be a hybrid on-prem ad okay so let's click okay you might need to go through a MFA if that is configured in your environment to use this let's go through it okay we are almost done let's see let's see I can see this shortcuts or not we are finding the resources oh, that is unfortunate that is unfortunate right I did log in with the wrong ID actually. So let's do a subscription again. Cancel, subscribe, do a subscription again with the correct ID. <laughs> let's see. I logged in with the sub correct subscription and let's see what is happening now. So I can see my three remote desktops icons over here. Let's click on one and see what is happening let's cancel that and let's right click and go to settings and I don't want to use that default settings I I don't want this on all monitors and start with full screen I don't want all these things right so let's choose by me Let's choose this one and okay, that's fine. I think let's launch it again and let's see what is happening because when I launched this last time, it took my default configuration and started deploy, dis displaying the remote desktop on two of my screens. So it was not a good user experience so this is like this it's coming like this and okay so that's cool right i am able to log in and i'm able to change the size of the screen and that's cool stuff right so hope this video was useful to you thank you for watching if you like this video please click on like button if you don't like it click on dislike button please share it with your colleagues probably it will be useful for them see you next time bye bye